<laughs> I can see you. Okay, I can see you. What's up, collectors? We are back with another one. Today we are checking out the Arms Dealer by Art Figures. But we all know him as Claw from the Black Panther movie. So let's kick this off. First up, we gonna get his height. So there's the pop can. And here is our ruler. And he stands just a little bit over 12 inches tall. Let me, let me, let me just let me just uh let me just stop for a second and say this motherfucker is diesel. Like he is swole. This dude been hitting the roids hard. I don't remember Claw being this diesel in the movies. Age of Ultron or Black Panther. This moth is diesel. But I, right, I'm getting distracted. We got the height. Let's do a couple comparisons. Here's Claw, arms dealer, with my Black Panther Blu-ray case and my Age of Ultron Blu-ray case. Two movies he appeared in. Underrated movie. It was good. I don't care what the haters say. All right, and here is Claw with Black Panther and Killmonger. All right, I just want to take a second. Again, this dude is Diesel. He's bigger than Killmonger. He's shorter, but he's swole. He's bigger. He's more Diesel. I don't think Claw's that big in the movies. But I, right, we gonna keep it moving. 
All right, so here we have Arms Dealer with all his accessories out the box. First thing you'll notice, he doesn't come with a stand. I don't understand art figures, why they don't include stands with their figures. Yeah, it is what it is. First thing's up, you get the instructions. Tell you how to operate the arm, all that good stuff. Just one side. So, get a suitcase, briefcase, same thing. Doesn't open, but the handle does move. Pretty cool. You get the arm, which is highly detailed. You can see the vibranium beads, the mechanics. Scarring along the prosthetic folded pieces. They did a good job on this prosthetic arm, especially with the weapon inside. And it does move, but I won't be moving this too much because it's real small pieces and I'm not trying to break them. But yeah, this looks good. You get two holsters, one holes, the gun clips, and the other holes, a gun. You get the pickaxe made of vibranium. I like the details on that. You get extra hands. As you can see. On the right hand, you got the tack, and on the left hand is blank. These are well done. You can even see the split right here. Do this. You can even see the split where the hand opens up. So that's some nice attention to details. You get extra wrist pegs, which you know you need these because sometimes these joints break. You also get a tie that you gotta tie, and you get his charm that you also have to tie to put it on him. That's gonna be a challenge. Two pistols, one with a silencer on it. Looks good. Removable clips, even the bullets are detailed. So that's what's up. This one also has the removable clip. Look at that. And again, detail bullets. That's what's up. But that's all the accessories. And for that, we giving him a four. Definitely not getting a five when you don't have a display base. It ain't happening. All right, for articulation, I gave him a four. Pretty much do everything I need him to do. He ain't doing no three point landing. Not in those pants though. But he can do everything else pretty much for the most part. But since his body is so bulky, when you're doing leg poses, those pants get a little tight. This figure would probably benefit from a body swap. Cause this body that they used on this one it's, 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 it's huge. But yeah, the articulation is pretty much on point. Uh, clothing and the tailoring gave it a five. This suit is outstanding. I mean, everything from the shoes, the pants, the way they did the vest, the shirt. I haven't threw the tie on yet. But, uh, I mean, look at the back. Look at that. And the feel of the suit, man. It's like, it's like, it's like so smooth, so silky smooth, like velvet. It's like a polyester material. And it feels pretty good, man, like for real. So yeah, man, they snapped on the clothes, no doubt. Five, uh, for scope. Again, the scope work on this joint is, is, is definitely a five head sculpt 
the teeth, the smile, the way they did the beard. They got the hair all laid out. You can see the cut and the wrinkles in the forehead. So yeah, they did an outstanding job with the scope. And that's the body too, even though the body is the way it is. They did a pretty good job. Uh, Bill, very well put together figure. I didn't run into any QC issues while I handled it. So for build, I gave him a five. Design, gave it a four. Poor choice. I ain't gonna say poor, just not the best decision made as far as the body. I, I, I don't understand why they use this body. Uh, coloration, gave it a four. Uh, likeness, likeness, I gave a three. And that's because of how big they made him look. I probably could have gave it a four because they nailed everything else except the size. Even the look on his face with the goofy smile. I know some people had a problem with it. I like the look as character to the figure. Let me see if I can pull up some images real quick. Let me do that. So you see that image of Claw right there. See, they nailed the suit. Look at that. They nailed it. Now he doesn't have a bracelet like he does over here on that arm, but I'm pretty sure they got that from somewhere. This bracelet is not an exact match for that, but for the most part, and I got the tie and the chain, I just haven't put them on. We got a match. But as y'all can see, he's not that diesel. He's not that big. Let's look at another image. So yeah, they got the face down. Got the tats, all that. Maybe we go for another image. So, the face is not an exact match. I think the three is good. We're going to keep it at the three. So, that's going to wrap up all our scores. All right, y'all. So, based on all his points, y'all see that? They didn't even get the same color joints. Oh well, you really won't see it if you turn it the right way. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Based on all the points, his final score is a 4.2. And my personal recommendation for this figure here, it would be an R. And that's gonna do it for me. I'm gonna get up out of here. Y'all make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment, negative or positive. You can even leave a dislike. It's all good. Let me get up out of here. This has been another action figure review. But make no mistakes about it. I'm a grown ass man. Peace.